their problems are. And you start looking at the, the hazard reports and the mishap reports and you start seeing uh, more things showing up of, of issues with these degraded visuals or the pilots can't really see what they're doing. And we went, yeah, we're engineers, we can solve this problem. And so we start looking into the details and saying, well, have we solved this problem before? Yeah, actually, we kind of know how to solve this problem for modern rotorcraft. But uh, the truth of the matter is that the vast majority of DoD rotorcraft are, are what we call legacy. Today, uh, we're, we're working on LSPC, which is the Low Speed Precision Control System. And essentially, uh, what it is is that it's, it's a solution for the fleet that attempts to make it safer for them to operate in degraded visual environments. To, to, solve, to solve degraded visual environments, you need to do two things. You need to address the controllability and stability of the vehicle, and then you need to increase the pilot's spatial awareness. So you need to make the pilot understand what his aircraft is doing and the world around them. LSPC, so it's trying to stabilize and help the pilot control the aircraft. Asgard is the other end. It's trying to improve situational awareness. And so you can use these techniques independently or, or potentially together, and you get the same beneficial effect to improve that ability to operate in degraded visual environments. Asgard actually takes into account two aspects of the degraded visual environment or shipboard landing difficulties that we encounter. Ship motion. It's bouncing up and down, and you have to stabilize above that landing spot. And you want to be very confident that you can then land. So one of the aspects integrated into Asgard is that it looks for the quiescent period of the ship motion, meaning it's safe and stable to land and there's not going to be any high excursions. And so once you get that indication from Asgard, it's going to say safe to land and you're going to know you're going to have a successful outcome. Landing in low visibility environments to a cruiser or destroyer uh, at night are probably the hardest thing uh, that I could ever do in an aircraft, especially at night. You know, we, we're taking three crew members into the aircraft to go do these uh, missions out there. Uh, coming off the detachments, it's going to be a lot of nighttime operations. And to come back and land at the end of a long flight, uh, it's going to require all three people coordinating their efforts. Uh, you got one guy flying the aircraft, one guy's talking about what altitude's looking like, where the ship might be. One guy's talking about how fast you're going, if you need to go faster or slower. It's a total crew effort. Uh, it takes three people to get yourself safely from behind the ship to over its flight deck. With Asgard, it's going to take the existing uh, display interface that pilots are using to fly the aircraft and just lay some cues on there that are all gonna be visually based, uh, give you an idea of where to put your stick and where to put your collective, your power control. Uh, and with that, that's gonna help you with decelerating the aircraft from a higher speed to gain yourself into a hover over the ship, as well as coming down from altitude to right over that uh, ship flight deck. Uh, in a safe way that isn't going to cause somebody to potentially get hung up or get any type of vertigo condition.